Hello, Liberty Benton. You probably have more content that you've created in Schoology than any year before because of all the online instruction we've done this year. When you start your courses next year, all of your courses are going to be blank. There will be no assignments or anything in them. It is very handy if you can take a previous course, save the whole thing, and then the next year, import that in so you have everything you did before already laid out in the way you've already taken the time to do. Ultimately, what you're going to do is you're going to save a course to your resources. The resources are right up here at the top of the menu. But before I start adding things to the resources, I'm going to create some containers so next year and the year after and five years later, it'll be easier to find all of my courses. Notice there's a, a collection here called Home and some other things. I'm going to create my own collection and I'm going to make my collection called Course Archives. Very simple name. When you look at it, obviously, that's where all my course archives are. And I'm going to go one step further. Inside of that collection, I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to call it 2019-2020. That is where I'm going to put all of the courses that I archive from the 2019-2020 school year. And you might say that seems like overkill. Well, when you teach for five or 10 years online, you want to have every year's course in a different folder. That way, when the course changes, you know exactly what version you can go back to and go forward with it if you need to. So it's a little bit of overkill, but I, I did it this way for more than 10 years at the university, and I never felt bad about the extra two seconds it took to create a folder for each academic year. In fact, I created a folder for each year, and inside of that, a folder for each semester. So I'm all set at the resource level. I'm going to go back to my course, and I'm going to archive my course. To do that, all I do is click on the options, save course to resources. Now I have to navigate to the collection I created, the course archives. And of course I created a folder called 2019, 2020. I click submit and I get this uh, alert up here that says I have a large operation that's currently being executed. This is a very small course. You can see there's, that's all the assignments right there. And if I look, it's probably, yes, it's already complete. Now you'll also get an email telling you that it's complete. If you have a big course that lasts the whole year, it could take it a few minutes to be transferred to the resources. And also it depends on the time of day you do it as well. So now if I go to my resources, go to my course archives, go to this school year, there is my course. And notice if I go into that resource, all of those assignments are there. So next year, when classes start and my course is blank, which it's not right now, so just use your imagination with me for a little bit. Imagine that this course is blank. I can say, add materials, import from resources. I can go to the course archives into the 2019-2020 folder. There's my course. All I have to do is check that box click the import button, which I'm not going to do because my course isn't cleared out like it will be next year. And all of the assignments will be imported into my new course. The only thing I'll have to do is go through and assign dates for each of the assignments as I go through the year. Uh, that's it. Now there's one other thing. Let's say that you want your own copy of everything outside of Schoology. You can go back to the course resources, click on this little drop down arrow and do an export. Then select the course or whatever it is that you want to make a copy of. And it's going to create something called a common cartridge. And this is one of the accepted formats for an online course. 
when you export this, it's going to take everything in that course and it's going to put it in one big zip file and you can download that and save it locally. So it's just one more way that you could save all the stuff that you have. And while that isn't necessary, it just gives you a copy outside of any other system. So if you have any questions about this, please let us know. And we hope this makes your online teaching at least 1% better.